issue she doesn't have is how to give a good speech. She has some very positive things in her speech that we can learn from. Think of the possibilities of what we can take with us if we pay attention to what she did. First of all, she was a character, and she had attitude. <laughs> that attitude showed with her shake of the head, it showed with the way she walked and stood, and it showed with her voice. She carried that voice, and she had some attitude to show. And the best way she showed that attitude was with that decidedly poor grammar. Now, as a former English instructor, I'm sitting here going, well, there's got to be a reason why she did that. <laughs> there was. It made an impact. It would not have been as impactful a speech if she had said, I have issues. You have issues. We all have issues. No, 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 no. She put that character in there with that attitude. The other thing she did very well was the voice changing. She projected, even when she went softly, she projected the voice. Or she went loud and it carried. The hardest thing to do is to talk softly enough that it can still be heard in the back of the room, but have enough variation in the vocal variety. She did that superbly. A couple of things she could have done a bit better. Here were my issues with Linda's speech. <laughs> First of all, use the stage. She did a little bit of walking around. But come over, plant yourself, and talk to someone. Make it personal. Talk to them. Because there's one thing about human nature. You want to listen in when somebody's talking to somebody else. If I'm talking <laughs> Make it personal. Johnny, you've got issues. <laughs>